Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about um, how to use Dynamo to place annotation tags. Um, you probably are thinking, why would you want to do that? Why would you complicate your life if Revit's pretty good with placing annotation tags? Um, yes, Revit's pretty good at placing annotation tags, although it doesn't always place it in, uh, in the exact location that you want it to be. So sometimes you end up with uh, with a case like this where I have a um, like a glass canopy uh, made out of adaptive component panels, and I want to tag each one of them with its unique mark uh, mark value and ID. What happens if I go to annotate tag all and I grab the tag that I really want to use? Is that you can see that the tags overlap uh, the panel boundaries so you know I really want it to be kind of centered on the panel and the last thing I want to do is go through and every time I have a floor I mean uh, like a roof plan for the canopy to move those around even you know even just that one time uh, I can I can bet you all the money in the world that someday in the future I'll have to come come back, retag it, and adjust those tags again. So this was obviously not something that I wanted to do. So if you delete all the tags, um, obviously I'm in the 3D, uh, I'm in the 3D view right now, and that view is locked, so that um, you can place annotation on it. Normally it wouldn't let you in the 3D view, but you can do that with a with a locked view view. So I'm, I, you know, I change it to top and I lock the view. Uh, in an unlocked view, this is what it looks like, but then at the same time, you have to lock it before you can place any annotation. So this is a locked view. Um, and here's my, here's my Dynamo definition that, uh, that gets the trick done. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm feeding a custom node called create annotation tag and I'm giving it every panel with a corresponding point on the panel where I want the tag to be placed and I'm feeding it a type of a tag that I wanted to use. Um, and all that is done with the pretty standard components available in Dynamo. Uh, I'm using category to pull out generic model tags since adaptive component families are generic models. And then I'm using a launch box adaptive component collector to get all the panels that I that I want for that particular uh, instance of you know uh, annotation creation. Um, all in all, when I run this, this should take a few seconds to regenerate. This usually happens. Um, sometimes it's the it's the node. Sometimes they have to be refresh. Yeah, there you go. Um, if you don't have anything started selected, uh, then you didn't really need a transaction node, and it will freak out the uh, freak out the graph. Um, if you do have something that you're in the middle of, and Revit opens a transaction then it won't let you do it. That's when you get an exemption. You're trying to modify something outside of the transaction. That's when you have to go back and place the transaction to run this definition again. But keep in mind, what I just did is I ran it twice over on top of each other. So if I go and select all the panels that I have in this view, it's 396 of them. But there isn't 396, there's 392, which is double of. Uh, annotation will let you be placed twice over each other, and you won't even notice that, so um, be careful with that. And the easiest, safest way to do it is just delete them and place them again. And since it's all animated, you can see pretty easily, really quickly, all the annotation got placed. 
in the right location that I want it, that I specified. Um, I'm going to make the create annotation tag load available on my website archie-lab.net for download also on the package manager so keep your uh, keep your eyes open for new stuff com coming up um, I'll, I'll be keep cranking on the on the dynamo um, thanks for watching and, uh, and stay tuned thank you